Y ya estamos con nuestros siguientes invitados. DJ Rashad. So guys, you just arrived here uh, today. How how has your day been? It's been pretty easy. Uh, we just been drinking and checking out a, a couple of little to the market, Mono um, Yeah, yeah. Um, gonna check out the fest tonight. Sinjin Hawks playing. Um, so far, it's been great. I can't lie. Um, we succeeded on everything we needed. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this is what it's all about, like, catching yeah. the real life catching and what you do instead yeah. of just coming in and make money. You gotta get a piece of the culture. You gotta see the culture, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And they got the booty jeans out here? <laughs> <laughs> Swap. Yeah, for sure. They stole all that out there from out here, huh? What's that thing? So what's that, uh... Me that, uh what's that? <laughs> ah! Uh, Sorry, guys. I don't need, need that. that. <laughs> what is that? The ghost is cooking. Are you gonna try something, Spin? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Not high enough, I guess. Yeah. You got. You guys should get wrestler masks and wear that shit while you play. <laughs> Let me get a black and silver. <laughs> I don't want black and gold. All black and silver. Two black and silver? You got black and red? You got black and red? Black, red, and tan. Oh, let me get, uh, let me get that gray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you set tripping out here. These are neutral colors. Yeah, I can roll with that. Break it down, 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 break it down. Roll it up. Yeah. <laughs> See, can't even do shit. I mean, this shit happens all the time. It's just a market. We promote it in the U.S. Break it down, roll it up, pass that shit. What yeah, the fuck? Like that. That. That, 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 that and then she said Prieto, and that was the best because like where I'm from, that means nigga. What? Uh, point out in the raw, not negro, nigga. You know? <laughs> So when, I, when she said it, I said, ah, oh. and then she smiled. Uh -huh. She smiled because I knew, I know, I'm from the hood. What's up? We got something for you. We got the Zellers. Why you smoking red? Y'all ready for us to get Mr. Doris on y'all ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta come out with them on already. Uh, already? Maybe we should keep them on. <laughs> <laughs> now we looking for the fun. I'm not even worried. It's already been fun. I'm already just doing this. Have you heard the Kush? <laughs> I don't want that $300 a pound um, shit. Y'all bring the taxes. Why does it feel like it got worse? Well, that's the lobby. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna run to uh, take a pen. Yeah, let's go. Oh, it might be right here. All right. You that guys was... know the, the toilet paper rule, right? No, what is it? You wipe your ass, you gotta put that shit in the garbage can that's next to the toilet. Why, Why is that? Because the sewage system will, like, handle that's the paper. It's too late, I already fucking wiped my ass and flushed it. Sorry. Yeah, it will be probably a few more. The bulls playing tonight, the bulls in the heat. Uh, no, no, the bulls is crazy. I don't know if that's 
a hundred percent true or not, bro. What about what? Because if they, if you have to put the shit, like if you use a shit towel and you don't got a cover up, right. like garbage can, that I don't. Shit, yeah, fuck don't don't send me off like that. I'm trying to make this shit gas. Yeah. Talk about it don't stink. I ain't going for that, yeah, fool. Boy, boy, boy. I'm fucking smoking weed. Can we flame up our weed? Nah, I don't smell no weed. Nah, I don't smell weed. Oh, it was great. Actually, I just got a really good text. <laughs> This is Chimino, the peacemaker. I'm in the pool and got some cushions. What? What? Uh, <laughs> that, that is a good That's job. you right there? <laughs> That's a really oh! good job. The peacemaker. Oh! Oh! I spotted you right there. <laughs> I got that eye uh, for the cush. Yeah. 20 not, for the gram, 50 for the cake. Day. You smoking Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Basuda garbage. You know what I'm Rich is garbage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why you smoking Reg? <laughs> 20 for the gram, 50 for the eighth. Of the loud. Kush. That's yeah, yeah. some American shit. I know. Yeah, yeah it's pretty difficult to find Kush here, so. We found it here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who gets that in Mexico? For two kids. <laughs> This medicine right here. Oh, yeah. Shit. Don't let no motherfucking scientists tell you it ain't. I don't think scientists tell you it's not. It's these other assholes that don't smoke weed and try to tell you about weed. It's a gateway drug, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, think, I think that's true. Peanuts. And I still get jealous of Vic. And Vic's still jealous of me. But if you touch my brother, all that anti violent shit goes out the window along with you and the rest of your life. Well, this dude. He inspired us, Yeah, definitely. Um, I learned a lot from the social experiment tour. And Chance and everybody, like, like, man, like, he's a shit, man. Like, I think, like, he's going to bring music to a whole nother level besides what hip-hop and, and rappers today, because, like, it's a lot of bullshit out there. I ain't going to say no names, but, like, this shit is, like, some, some, some shit I can fuck with, man. Some new, you know, simple but like, not simple but like more back to the hip hop scene, kind of like in a new way with a little soul, a little and, and he full works on stage. Like, man, he do a whole show. He's a fucking hell of a performer. The, the guys that work with him, the group, everybody, man, the whole social experiment team. Is big shout out. Yeah, man. He's gonna take it to the next level for sure. Chance. Yeah, actually, it's. Uh, Chance Treaty Crew. Yeah, man. This guy's coming out of Chicago. Yeah, Chicago's hot right now. Well, Chicago, basically, right now, it's a big uh, underground hip hop scene that's blowing up. And, you got uh, drill going yeah, on. Yeah, the drill music, uh, the bop music, and everything. And then you got us with you the footwork and juke. juke. And uh, basically, it's just. What we do is still underground, what's on Chicago versus outside of Chicago. And uh, we just want to bring the love back to Chicago whenever we get that opportunity and bring bigger events to Chicago with us doing it. Guys, um, last year you started a new record label called Lit, Lit City, if I'm not, um, if two, I'm not two wrong. Two years ago. Actually, two years yeah, ago. Two years. Yeah. Is this some kind of mission of a uh, revival of footwork and juke of you guys? Not at all. To be to be quite honest, um, that's not our regular label. Um, that's one of the friends of ours. Uh, Jamie, aka J Kush. That's his label. <laughs> um, we were pretty much just like, help. well, yeah, he came to us with the idea, like, yo, I'm gonna start a regular label. Uh, you guys down? Let's do this. Let's take this to the next level. Type shit. It went very well, actually. Um, I got number one for Spin Magazine for uh, Welcome to the Shy for this city on the on the independent label uh, for us with no promotion. That was terrific. It was fucking uh, history. Um, I met Steve, um, which is Code Nine, of course, uh, maybe a year before that. So like we were in connection from us touring. We started off doing um, parties. He booked us for a hyperdub yeah. party. And then from there, went to the radio stations and to us mingling and sending music back and forth to Cole saying, yo, do you want to do an EP? I'm like, eh, yeah, you know, <laughs> you, because you it, I'm, oh, I'm like, fuck yeah, man, <laughs> when I sign up, you know, uh, because like <laughs> um, to be honest, uh, we're big fans of what Code 9 has done in the past. And 
And the whole dubstep movement from like 2002, like we didn't even know it existed until like 2007, right? Yeah. But you know, I, big fan, uh, he's a genius. And to be working with these guys and, and, and being on a team is, is a fucking phenomenal for us. So like the Lit City thing, they're still doing that, but we're not a part of that anymore. But you know, um, the best to them. Yeah, congratulations. But congratulations to you guys, but we're hyper dub and we got a lot coming. 2014, be on the lookout. Yeah. This is like a movie, I swear. It's gonna be a movie. A oh, real, like a series. <laughs> Fuck, that would, would definitely be some fun, motherfucker. The movie. memoirs. <laughs> I'm gonna find this shit even better. Mexico. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll get the L Ray stuff. L Ray. Oh, no. I won't. Shit, I'm high as hell, Devin. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got drink, we got drink, we got drink, we got drink, we got cushion, we got cushion. We got drink, we got cushion, we got drink. I might get the star on the bus. What's the bus on the bus? I'm strong as fuck. I'm a fucking T ball. Very bad. Where about? That's a hat. That says it countries we've been so far they kind of just let us do what we want yeah. you know what I mean we expect different but like the first time we toured maybe we were like sketchy on like uh, maybe we should like switch it up a little bit mm -hmm. but the first night we tried that people came up to us with phones like play this play that you know like they were familiar with the shit that we play in Chicago so we like alright okay y'all want the real shit then
So guys, you're gonna be playing your first show here in Mexico, home yes. Mexico, tomorrow. What do you expect from the both your show and the normal festival? We just hope it's uh, live and people come to party. I've heard uh, <laughs> that it's gonna be off the hook and and hopefully everything goes well, man. Um, I was supposed to play Mutex, so like playing tonight, you know, I was sad I couldn't make Mutex due to Mutex, excuse me, due to uh, my car accident, but. It's an honor to be here and just however it goes, just us playing here is just uh, a big history moment for us and hopefully it goes off the hook. Uh, guys, we're gonna go and play a song of you, then uh, from you, sorry, and we're gonna go, go back. So, Sounds good. Cool. Actually, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you because I, I didn't know about your accident. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I was on my way to his house to pick up my my computer and shit to go to the airport to start the tour. I got hit from the back, uh, from the impact, hit me to the other side of the lane, so I got hit both times. Um, fractured my hip, those two ribs and shit. Thought I was going to be all right, tried to, tried to do the tour, the rest of the tour from, he did the first half, and then I was going to close it out with um, Mutag, um New York and Boston. I made New York and Boston, but when I got to New York, the drugs were off from the hospital, man, and I felt... Like the pain, it was just too much, man. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, it, it really did, man. Like, I should have just sat down and just did what the doctor told me, but I guess I was still in shock from this shit that all oh, this shit happened and I was just pumped up and ready to go, but no, man, it was real serious. Um, but I'm here. Sounds um, Cool to have you here. Where my sexy senioritas at? Let's go! Y'all, Monterey. Gracias. Mucho gracias, Monterey.